Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video in which I will talk about modules and different ways to create modules in your Android project. And before I start this video, I want to tell you about my full course about modularization in Android, which will teach you everything you need to know about modularization with best practices like modularization basics, uh, the multi-module architecture that is recommended by Google, create custom Gradle plugins to reuse dependencies across your modules, and more and more. All of that will be explained by building a real production currency converter app that can work fully offline. So if you want to learn about building a well-structured Android app using multi-modules architecture, then you don't want to miss this course and I will leave the link in the description. Okay, firstly, let's understand what a module is, then we will see how to create modules. So a module at the end is a sub project inside your main project that could be treated just like a library where you could implement it and access its public classes and functions from different modules. And you're going to see that in this video. Now open any project you have or create your new project and go to the project tab here. You could see that we are in the Android view hierarchy. Just switch this to the project so you can see all of the files or the modules inside your project. Firstly, you will see that we have the main module, the project module, which is called modules playground. This is the name of my project. So it will be just the same as of the name of your project. And then you have another module here called the app module. This is the entry point of your app. Here you basically, yeah, define the main Java and here you can find the main activity, the manifest file, the resources and all of that. You definitely know this if you are an Android developer. Now what you can do is to create other modules just like the app module, but for different purposes. So to create modules in Android, in Android Studio, there are two main ways. The first way is creating module manually and the second way is using Android Studio templates. Let's start by creating a module manually because this will get you more familiar with modules and will show you what happens, how modules are actually created. So to create a module manually, you need to select the parent module that you want to create your child module or your sub module inside. In our case, we're going to create a new module inside our main module, which is this one. Right click on this, then select the new and then choose directory. You can see there is a module option. But this is the other way using the Android Studio template. Now we just want to create one manually, so click on directory. And here you give the name of your module. I will keep this simple and I'm gonna create a module called the model, which will have some like model data classes. So click on enter. And now this is just a normal folder. To convert this into a module, we typically do that inside this settings Gradle file. So open that up and to convert this folder into a module, you can say include. Then you open a string, colon, then you add the name of your module, which we named model. Now we click on sync now. And notice how the icon here changed. We got this blue box and also the text of, or the name of this module has changed to bold. So now we know that this is an actual module, not just a normal folder. Now, if you try to create the source uh, structure, so what I mean by that is if you go to the app module, for example, you can see source main java if you want to create the same one here let's try you can say here and we don't get auto completion so it's just not working for this module and the reason is because we have not configured this module yet and when we configure a module that means we specify the job of this module what it does and in our case and to configure a module, we can do that with a Gradle. So we need to create a build a Gradle file specifically for this module and configure it. And to create that, right click new, then choose file. Here you can name this build.gradle.kts. Click on enter. Okay, now we want to configure this module to be like a Kotlin module, just pure Kotlin module. That means you can just create Kotlin classes. So to do that, we can say plugins. That's how we configure a module just by specifying the plugin. And to configure this one as a Kotlin module, we can add this back quote, double back quote, and then we can say Kotlin DSL. So if you click on sync now, now as you can see, it's highlighted with purple. And if you try to create the source structure, so if you go directory, as you can see, we have now auto completion. That means this module is now configured for Colin. So let's create source main Colin. 
and let's create a new class here for example let's call this yeah let's create a new model maybe call this person and yeah let's just maybe make this a data class and the person would have um, the name okay now we just created a module so how do we use this module how do we use this module for example in the app module so we want to access this person from the app module simply open the app module and remember when I told you that a module is at the end a library is treated like a library so we can go to the build gradle file for the app module and we need to implement this model module so we can say implementation and to implement a module you can say project and here you can say model but with the colon at the beginning then click on sync now now let's go to the main activity and try to create an object with a person class so if you go here if you say val person equals person as you can see we have access to this data class and here we can say name and yeah we can pass age anything here as you can see we were able to access the person class uh, that is inside the model module inside our app module if you click on that as you can see it directed us to the person class inside the model module okay now i showed you how to create a e kotlin module but what if you want to access the android sdk from your module like if you try for example to right click here and try to create an activity as you can see you don't get the same options you get in the app module so if we click for example here in the app module you'll see we have all of these android options like victor asset uh, activity we can create an activity but we don't have these options inside the model module and the reason is because uh, this module as I said is configured for Kotlin if you want to make it an Android uh, module you need to configure it for Android and to do that we just need to change the plugins but before that I also forgot to mention that here you can definitely add dependencies so you can open dependency block and you can add dependencies specifically for this module so I just forgot to mention that but anyways now as I said we want to convert this into an Android module to access the Android SDK now we can go here and change this plugin to a plugin called com.android.library now this is the Android plugin that will convert this module into an Android library module and we need another plugin for Kotlin that is specifically for Android so we can say id jetbrains.kotlin.android that's right and now we want to configure the Android block. Open that up. And yeah, it's highlighted with the red now. But once we sync that, everything will be okay. Now for the Android block, we need to define the namespace. And here let's name this com dot land of coding dot uh, let's say model. Then we need to configure some more options for Android. So if you go to the app module, the build gradle file for that module, you can see that these are the same things so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna copy all of that and paste it in here and there are a few things that we don't actually need like the application ID because that's something specific for the app module here so we can remove it same thing for these versions and now click on sync now and as you can see everything highlighted with purple now let's try to create an activity so inside the model module right click as you can see now we get all of the Android options like victory set, uh, activity fragment and let's try to create a fragment or activity sorry choose him to activate with compose next and here I'm gonna call this um, main act or let's just call this model activity which is not practical but for simplicity let's just create it like that click on finish now let's just change this greeting to from model module and let's try to navigate from the main activity inside the app module to the model activity let's go to the main activity and let's here have a box let's fill the max size and let's say content alignment we make that center let's have a button and when we click on that we want to start the model activity so I'm gonna call this something like go to model activity then I want to click we can create the intent we're going from this activity to the model activity then we can say also 
and we can say start activity we pass it let's try to launch the app okay let's click on go to model activity and there you go hello from model module so this is how you create an android module you configure it with these plugins here and add the android block i'm um, sorry uh, i mean here add the plugins here and you configure it with these things here by the way here you can see that we have some that android studio already added to our module when we created it because uh yeah when we created the activity it needed the compose dependencies so android studio added that for us when we created that activity and it also added all of the things here required for compose now i showed you the manual way of creating a module now let me show you the template way so using android studio templates which is much easier so you select the module that you want to create your new module inside new then choose module and here you have two choices you either can create an android module which i just showed you or a kotlin or java module so uh, let's just create an android library module and let's call this like feature for example feature a then click on finish now as you can see android studio has created this feature a module and yeah it already just did the same thing we've done manually but it also added the git ignore file and some of these you can delete them if you want them but yeah that's what android studio did and it also created the test source sets you can also delete them and if you go to the settings file you will see that android studio already included that for us so that's what we did manually with this model module but one more thing i forgot to mention is uh, when you have an android module you will notice that the icon here will change into this chart but for a cotton module the icon will be like a square blue square that's the thing i forgot to mention and yeah that's everything for this video if you really want to learn more about modularization then you need to check out my premium course i teach you everything you want to know with best practices so you'll find the link in the description and thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one